Thank you for tuning in. First off, Happy New Year. I hope your 2016 is off to a great start. And I just wanted to take a minute to talk a little bit about 2015, what we covered, and some of the things I plan on covering early this year. So first off, thank you guys so much for the continued support, all the comments, suggestions, feedback. I've definitely learned a lot from you, and I hope that you can say the same for me. So last year, we did lots of builds, and I'll continue to do that. One of the more exciting builds, definitely for me, was this Firefly 6. So Adam Sloan and the Bird's Eye View guys reached out to me and asked if I would do a demo of the AVA firmware. And I demonstrated how that happens with the automatic transitioning from hovered to forward flight. And in the next few weeks, we're gonna take that to the next level and do a fully autonomous mapping mission where takeoff, forward flight, mapping, and landing all happen fully autonomously. Another personal highlight of 2015 was working with the DJI SDK for the Phantom 3 and the Inspire 1 and riding drone pan to do 360 degree panoramas with those aircraft. Now, did run into a problem with the SDK and I've been working with DJI to get that resolved, but what happens is that sometimes commands are actually missed. So instead of the drone always yawing, sometimes it will stick in the same position, ignore a command, and you have duplicate photos. So it's early stage SDK, but the bugs are getting worked out, and hopefully DJI helps me through that so that we can release a new update to Drone Pan. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Another thing that I will be covering, and I've done this over the years on the channel, but I want to do a soup to nuts demonstration of a build with this FX61, mainly for mapping purposes. This is a great little wing that I've demonstrated in many videos, but I've never really put it all together. And many people have asked how to set this up. So what we'll do is we'll put in PixHawk, we'll use probably the Canon S110, get everything configured and tuned so that you have a lightweight, relatively inexpensive, and a wing that has good endurance to do aerial mapping. And lastly, one of the things that I'm probably more excited about, mainly because I have a software background, is working with the 3DR PixHawk SDK. Now it's known as Drone Kit, and what you can do is install a companion computer. In this case, I'm using the Raspberry Pi, and I'll be talking a lot about it, showing how to set it up, use it, but the Raspberry Pi actually comes in very handy because we can communicate with the flight controller and actually issue different commands. So similar to what I've been doing with the DJI SDK, we'll be doing with PixHawk and the Raspberry Pi. Now what's really interesting about the Raspberry Pi is you can install a cheap camera. The Raspberry Pi runs about $38. I think the camera's probably between 25 and 30 bucks. And what I'm hoping to do is do a little bit of programming for computer vision. So you can imagine a camera being mounted to the Raspberry Pi using OpenCV or some sort of SDK that would allow the Raspberry Pi to track an object and tell PixHawk to follow it. So you guys are probably very familiar with follow me mode. It would be similar to that, but without GPS. Using image processing, hopefully being able to target something and follow it. Now, of course, I'm being optimistic there, but definitely going to share my experience and findings with this on the channel. So I highly recommend checking out the Raspberry Pi, looking at PixHawk and DroneKit. And if you've listened to any of Chris Anderson's talks or keynotes as it relates to hardware and software, the world of open source Linux and SDKs are going to be an essential component of UAVs. Wanted to share that update on some of the stuff we did last year, some of the stuff we'll be doing early this year. Once again, I truly appreciate your continued support and hope you follow along on this journey with me. Until next time, thanks for watching.